we about to have church today, y'all, because it's about that time. South I got the trip, I got the trip. South back to my channel if you're new to the channel what's up what's poppin it's me i'm savion for those who don't know so on my instagram story i stated that i would be doing something special for the month of july on my channel so i didn't say because i like surprises so i like to make everybody else like surprises too so if i gotta wait to tell you gotta wait to listen <laughs> but i know this is something that you guys have been asking for you guys have been wanting i've been praying to god a lot about it to see like is this something that you think that you want me to do so for the month of july i will be doing sermons with savi and story times with savi all of the sermons all the story times are like real things that happen to me just talk about them because i feel like a lot of things that i have gone through during this lifetime even though i'm only 20 like have taught me a lot of things have brought me through a lot of things that has made me into who i am today and has called me to be you know me so i feel like these stories some of these stories are funny like all they're not all serious and like oh my god this happened that like i have a lot of funny stories some crazy stories y'all gonna be like oh <gasps> really like this next video next week y'all gonna be like yo what's tea like let me know but i wanted to make sure i started off with something i've been really wanting to say like uh, a sermon i don't know i've never done a sermon like i've always wanted to do something like this but i don't know i was nervous because i get really nervous when it comes to making videos like this like the first god video i made that like, i was super nervous making it because it's like God is very critical of the people who spread his word because I'm teaching other people. So I want to make sure that I'm delivering his message like as well as I can. I make sure whatever you need me to say to these people, God, please give it to me so I can say it exactly how you want it to be said. Like I study the word a lot. Make sure y'all have your Bibles for the day. I had to take notes. Like if you see me look down at any time, I got one, two, three, four, five, six pages of notes front and back for five of them like I had to get this right for y'all because I don't like to speak about things I don't know enough about because who, who am I to give advice and I don't know about it you know? this sermon will be a financial testimony not like my whole financial process of my life but like a series of events that was just like this is God like it can be no other no other thing no other reason no other anything but God, we're about to have church today, y'all, because it's about that time. Start off, let's just pray, like, get our hearts right, get our minds right. God, I ask you to please open the hearts, minds, and souls of these people that are watching these videos, God. I thank you for giving me the gift in order to speak to these people. God, I ask that you could allow me to bless these people with your words through me to them, God. Thank you for anything and everything and all things. Amen. So today's sermon we're going to be starting off in 2nd Corinthians 9 verses 6 through 9 I have the I think it's the King James version I don't know I got this when I was playing volleyball I'm not sure they gave us like athlete ones <laughs> I think it's the King James version though beginning at verse 6 remember this whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly and whoever sows generously will also reap generously each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. As it is written, they have freely scattered their, their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. So the title of this sermon is, Are You Willing to Give Him Your Last? Basically, I'm just about to give y'all this story that happened to me a couple of months ago. It was last semester. Like, I just want to tell y'all how good my God is and how much he blessed me to a point where it's like, God, you have it all. You can take everything that is me because I know that, that you got me. I know you got my back. I know you're we're good no matter what. Even if it's the last of me, you can have it. So let me tell y'all what it is. So basically, I'm a college student. I'm broke. <laughs> Hate to break it to you guys, but I'm busy, busy, broke. Busy, busy, broke. I ain't got no money. Nah, it's not a joke. I don't got no money. 
Nah, it's not a joke. Yeah, I'm busy, bro. Yeah, I'm busy, bro. I don't have any money, y'all. <laughs> like, I'm chilling. Like, y'all have a job. Like, I got two jobs, really. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm chilling for real. Like, I'm, I'm broke. Like, I don't got money for real, for real. It was at a point where it's like, if I got some money, I'm spending it so fast. Like, on everything. Like, things that just didn't matter. Things that had nothing to do with anything. Like, I'm buying food all the time, clothes all the time. I get paid, I'm going shopping, let's go to the store, I'm getting this, I got that, face mask, nail polish, hair stuff, like stuff I don't need, but I am getting for some reason. It was to a point where it was like, if I had $10.74 in my account, and I know that 10 piece is $9.99, I'm gonna be full that day, no cap. I just didn't care, I was throwing money away, like, I have a spending problem, I know. Okay, so this was back in the time when I had actually just quit my job at the hotel. So at this time, I have no job, you feel me? So at this time, I'm more than broke. Like, I'm, it's done. Like, I don't, I'm, I can't do anything. I can't do too much. I can't do not enough. I gotta stay right in this. <laughs> so I would just go from time to time when I would just be, broke you know my last 20 my last 10 my last five you feel me so i remember this like it was yesterday it's amazing how this happened like i had woke up i had listened to my sermon and the sermon of course it was michael todd i love michael todd but that's an that's another side thing but i was watching michael todd and it was basically a sermon about giving like just giving your all to god making sure you're everything you are is to god with god you know what i'm saying like giving everything to God because he's giving everything to us. I was just feeling very enlightened. So I checked my bank account. I got like 1064 in there, you know, nothing special, chilling. My 1064, God was like, send me $10. Dang, <laughs> not send me five. Cause I was like, you know, you go to church, you just throw your five in there. It was nothing serious, but I had checked my account. God's voice was just so loud, send me $10. So I sent to Dream Center Church. I was like, okay, it's my last 10, but hey, we've been here before. <laughs> you feel me? Like, we, we, we spent our last 10 before. It's, it, at least we gave it to God this time. So my day goes on. I go to class. Like, class was boring. It was just one of those days, though. Like, I was not feeling the day. I was like, I just don't want to be here today. I don't really care. I dress like a boy today. I don't care. I'm walking out of class. I'm about to walk back to my dorm where I live. So on my way to my dorm, there's this park called Hurt Park where there's a, like a lot of homeless people that stay there like live there you know they just chill there be there around the day things like that i had noticed that there was one like standing near the sidewalk where i was walking past so i was walking past like normal whatever whatever i got my headphones in i was trying to be bothered for real like i just had one of those days i couldn't help it i'm sorry i get closer and closer towards the homeless man and he smiles at me so i smile back and then I start turning my headphone down. Just in case he says something to me, I want to make sure I say something back because he smiled at me and I thought that was so sweet. I was like, hey, how are you? He was like, I'm good, kind of hungry, but I'm good. And then I said to him, how long are you going to be here? He was like, what do you mean? Like in this spot? I said, yeah, how long are you going to be here? I'll bring you something back to eat. He was like some, well, I have a job interview tomorrow morning and I'm getting picked up tonight at six, like in order to be closer to where my job interview is. I said, and it was about like two o'clock at this time. I had just got a class, it was around two. So I was like, some, you know what? I'll be back before six o'clock. Make sure you don't leave because I'm going to bring you some food. He said, for real? I said, yeah, for real. And then I had asked him, I was like, what is your name? So that way, if I come back, I can ask like around, like, have you seen this person? Like, if I'm looking for you, he was like, some, oh, my name is James. I was like, nice to meet you, James. My name is Savion. He's like, so nice to meet you, Miss Savion. So, boom, I had went back to Corey's room. We chilled in there for a little bit, watched some TV, like, before he had to go to class. He had class at, like, 4. He had to leave before 4 o'clock. So I was like, that's perfect. That gives me enough time to go get James some food and bring it back to him. Corey went to class, and I went back to my room. And inside of my room, I have this big tub of Tupperware, like, so much Tupperware, but like super organized, like big things of it. You know what I'm saying? Like good sized Tupperware jars. So I'm like, bet I'm about to get these Tupperware jars because I don't have any money to buy this many food. So I was like, I'm about to go to calf <laughs> and get my man some food. I told him I was going to get him some food. So I'm going to make sure I keep my promise. So I got my Tupperware. I went to the calf. I started filling those containers up. Yo, like I'm talking good meals. I'm talking chicken, mashed potatoes, 
green macaroni and cheese cornbread dessert like i made plates like and i'm talking a whole bunch of plates because i'm like oh yeah i'm gonna just give him a whole bunch so it'll last him for a while i leave the cab i put all the containers in my backpack i start walking to the park i get to the park i'm looking for james i'm like where is he at where is he at? i'm looking for him so i noticed he was laying in the grass on the ground I was like james i brought you some food wake up he was like oh my gosh thank you so much i appreciate you thank you so much for helping me like this means a lot and while he was talking to me i had noticed that there were new people that weren't there earlier they were there now a lot more families there with kids and it was older people there and i was like i really have a lot in this one plate like and i have a whole bunch i'm like james i'm gonna give you this plate and i'm gonna give these other plates to these other people because they need some too he said that's fine i understand thank you so much i haven't seen james since but I hope he's doing well. I hope he got that job too. But what's crazy to me the most is, do you see how quick the power of God's grace worked? Cause the thing is James didn't know that he was about to get blessed the way that he was about to get blessed. James probably didn't even think I was coming back. I mean, people probably promised him like, oh yeah, I'm gonna bring some change on the way back. Oh, if I have this, only got my car. You know, people probably lied to his face, promised him something like, oh, I'll be back. Never came back, never come back. Sometimes what you give somebody might not seem like a lot but that might be exactly what that person needs so yeah i just got some food from the calf brought it to him some tupperware like you know what i'm saying it was little to me and oh all i did was just smile at the girl it was little to him but see how both of both of our days just ended up so blessed just by the little thing that we did i needed to see that smile i needed that smile that day that smile meant a lot to me that day so his smile turn not only my day around but his day around and not only just his day around but the people around him around and james probably feels like all i did was just smile but remember the word says god loves a cheerful giver notice how he said nothing about what you give he just said he loves a cheerful giver not the chill cheerful million dollar giver not the cheerful boat giveaway giver he likes the the lambo giver cheerful all that you know what i'm saying he didn't ask for all that he just said a cheerful giver james was cheerful giving me the smile so i was cheerful giving him the food his simple smile caused him to be so blessed that his blessings began to overflow onto the people around him because not only is he getting food, but these kids are getting food too. These elderly people are getting food too. All these homeless people around him were getting food too just because he decided to be nice. A week goes by. During the week, I was doing like Instagram promo. Nothing too much. Like I really wasn't even on it for real. Like I was just like, oh, let me get a couple bucks. Like I got like $50. Like nothing too much. Like just enough to get me through the week. Like I'm chilling. Like I'm not really trying to do anything but post on Instagram. So if that's my job for the week, then let me make my 50 real quick god again had asked me for another ten dollars even though i had just got the 50 i wasn't thinking too much of the 50 so i was just like all right cool i got a little bit more money at least it's not my last 10 this time that's perfect like i gave god my 10 but then god was like i want you to go give to the homeless people again i noticed now that i think about it every single time he told me it was a wednesday i don't know if that's anything but the first Wednesday he told me to give to homeless people and then the next time he told me it was a Wednesday again. But I don't know. So he has told me to go give to the homeless people again. So I'm like, bet I have some fruit snacks in my um cabinet, some apples I haven't eaten, like I had some uh uncrustable PB and J's. I was like, oh bet I just went grocery shopping. I got bags underneath the sink. I'm gonna get the bags, fill them up with PB and J's and apples. I'll stop at the cab, grab some bananas, like put some more fruit for the ones who didn't have apples in it. So then I make all the bags and I'm like, okay, bet stop at the cab. All right, bet. Then I start walking to the park. So I walk to the park with my bag full of bag full of bags and then i just start handing my bags out there were a couple of people that were standing like together in a group and i started handing them all out and they were all like oh you don't have anything to drink like we're so thirsty you don't have anything to drink i was like don't i'm so sorry i i wasn't thinking i should have got y'all something to drink but you know what there's a corner store right down the street what do y'all want to drink like give me a list i'll go grocery shopping for y'all real quick i'll go get y'all's drinks bring them back i walk to the store get their drink and i come back give them all their drinks they're like oh thank you so much they're being so sweet they're like you're gonna be famous one day girl i see it you're so sweet you're a blessing like just making me feel so good i was like of course no problem seeing y'all happy makes me feel so good take my 50 y'all oh, a couple days go by like i got like 20 ish dollars in the account you feel me like 
back on our broke girl ish nothing different you know i'm used to the lifestyle i live it every day it's great it's fine so a couple of days go by and my parents notice my ridiculously low funds and uh <laughs> decided to renew my funds for me they both sent me a hundred dollars each i had two hundred dollars now i'm lit went from thirty dollars to two hundred just like that i'm rich whatever so i still gave my 10 to god like still make sure, sure i give him my 10 every week next wednesday comes he asked me to give again so now I got like $150 in my account. I was like, I'm gonna give to the homeless people again today, but this time I wanted to do something different. Cause the first time I went to the cafe, you know, got all this stuff. Second time I made them my own snacks from what I had and like some drinks from the corner store. I was like, you know what? I got $150 this time. I got them all the snacks, all the Oreos, the chips, the popcorn. I got all the sweets. I got all the drinks, all the juices, pops, water. If you want it, I got it. Pop tarts, brownies. I was making sure my people were good today. Cause when I go up, we all go up. Period. I'm sorry. Every single time I walk by, y'all speak, y'all happy to see me. I'ma make sure y'all good too. Like if I can help, I'ma make sure I can help. I got 150, look, we got 150. I went to the corner store. I spent like a good $50, like, but on snacks and stuff. So I really got a whole bunch of stuff. I went to the park. I started passing out all these snacks. They're like, oh, you got this too. You got that too. I'm talking honey buns. Like, whatever you want, I got it. Whatever you want, I got it. Whatever you want, I got it. You notice how my obedience to give not only caused me to get more, but also the people I'm giving to to get more. Yeah, God gave me more. I could have easily just been right back in the cab giving them the free food that I get. You know what I'm saying? I could have kept them at the low level when I was coming up. So make sure that your level of giving is matching your level of receiving. If God is giving you a lot, make sure you're giving just as much, if not more. You see how God upgraded my bank account, causing them to have upgraded snacks. It's something so simple since I gave to them, now God gives me more in order to give more to them. Because yeah, he's giving more to me, but he also wants me to continue to give more if I have more. That happened, I gave the snacks. Wasn't thinking too much of it because it's like a uh, normal Wednesday, we give to God, give give to the homeless. Thursday comes around the next day. So I don't know if y'all know anything about YouTube, but the way YouTubers get paid, it's called a monetization process. So it's basically a process you have to go through to make sure, you know, you're eligible to get paid by YouTube, have all the right papers and all this other stuff but usually the monetization process takes about according to youtube takes about a month to two months to come together get all your papers together get all your information together get everything together in order for you to get monetized it takes about a month to two months i had applied for my monetization four days before and i was just in the waiting process now like okay i gotta wait a month two months then i'm waiting like i'm chilling anyway like the money wasn't really I wasn't really pressed about the money for real. I tried to get monetized so many times and it didn't work. So I was just always like, I guess it's just not meant for me to get paid from YouTube right now. Like that's just not what God has set for me. So I wasn't questioning it. Like if he doesn't want me to get paid right now, then I'm chilling. I'm cool spreading his words, spreading his advice, information for the free. I don't mind, like I'm having fun with this. Like it's it's super fun for me to be able to be a vessel for him. So I'm I'm super cool on the money. I really didn't need it. But anyway, so like I was saying, like we've been trying it for like at least a month before the four days, like it was not working. Four days previous, Corey was like just on it. Like, baby, let's try to figure out your monetization thing. Like, let's try to see what's wrong with it. So I was like, okay, it doesn't work. But I'm trying to tell you it doesn't work. Like I tried it so many times. So many other people have tried it. It's not gonna work. So he does it, he logs on, he was like asking me information, questions like, oh, what's this, what's that? I'm like, okay, but I'm telling him like, baby, it's not gonna work though. I just know it. I, I've tried it so many times. He was like, did I do it? And I was like, oh, Corey, you're the best person I've ever met in my whole entire life. He literally figured it out. So he just figured it out. He sent it in, whatever. So now we had to make wait the month, month and a half, two months, whatever. The fact that you finally got the process started because it wasn't even trying to start because it just wasn't working at all. So I was like, well, then, oh, well, but he did it so quick. I was like, wow, that's weird. Well, I wonder why it wasn't working. Thursday comes, I get an email. The email says, congratulations, you've been approved for monetization. It said it was supposed to take a month up to two months. And I got approved for monetization in literally four days. And I was just thinking to myself, wow, this is such a blessing. Because what was supposed to 
come in a month or two came to me in four days no time sometimes what god makes your enemies wait and work for will land perfectly in your lap no wait no work required i'm chilling i'm just making videos in my room like i'm not really working for i'm spreading the word of god sometimes i like doing it anyway and I, I was ready to wait my two months. Like I was waiting anyway. I didn't even try to get monetized for real until like 20,000. The money is not even necessary. It is what it is. Like if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. As long as I'm spreading the word, I feel like that's all I care about right now. Even to this day, like I have yet to see a YouTube check. Like if we be honest, we got monetized. I have yet to see a YouTube check because I have holds on my account that I can easily take off. I just have to fill in information, but I'm kind of using it as like a savings account right now. Like I'm letting my YouTube money build up so I don't spend it. And I feel like I don't really want the YouTube money right now because I don't want to forget why I'm doing what I'm doing, who I'm doing it for and what I'm doing it for and saying what I'm saying to y'all. I don't want money to get in the way that like, oh, I'm not making enough money. Let me make a dumb video so I can get some views and say something that that doesn't mean anything to to get some likes and I just I don't want the money to get away of what God has planned for me but anyway time goes on I get monetized that next day after I get monetized I wake up and I'm like I feel like selling all of my wigs today I was like I'm not gonna wear them anymore so there's really no reason for me to have them still like I can sell them to somebody else they can have them but after I sold them I made about six hundred dollars in like a couple of hours like super chill I didn't have to do anything I was on my phone the whole time all I had to do was give people the wig they also see me waking up as a move of God a sign of God because who wakes up like oh let me just sell all my wigs like all of them stop and I feel like this is a move of God because you gotta listen when God is talking so yeah it might have seemed like oh yeah just sell your wig but God wanted to bless me with some more money so he was like sell that you don't need that because this is something that i would oh i would try to spend all my money on stuff like this but it's like you don't need that why are you still holding on to that like okay you did your videos with it you took your pictures with it promoted with it okay let's take it off so i got my 600 like a week or two goes by i'm living life i'm shopping i'm eating great you know what i'm saying like life is good i'm still giving to god still giving my 10 every week still giving to the homeless still doing what i'm supposed to be doing a day comes around it was a sunday after a week and i was on like my last 90 dollars. yes i spent 500 dollars in a week but that's unrelated so i'm on my last 90 dollars. me and corey go to church and then one of our friends our friend's name will be pin pin wanted to go to church with us so we're like duh let's go to church back 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 cool so me and Corey's plan after church was to go to cheesecake factory i was like on me i got it like i'll pay for it i got 90 dollars left like I i'll spend it like ain't no thing like i'll spend it like it would probably be roughly like 65 dollars all together after we get like everything so while we're in church god starts talking to me God starts talking to me heavy. Uh, I'm in church. I'm trying to listen to you, but you're talking too loud. Like, over yourself. Like, some, I want you to ask Penn to go to Cheesecake Factory with you and Corey. And I want you to pay for Penn, too. I was like, some, but that means I'm going to be broke after. Like, if my meal is like 30 something dollars, Corey meal is like 30 something dollars, Penn meal is going to be like 30 something dollars. I only got $90. I was like, I'm not going to have enough for all three of us like Penn's gonna have to go back to school and me and Corey are gonna have to go by ourselves because there's no way that I can pay for all three of us like I don't have enough I just kept saying I don't have enough he was like you have enough and I was like all right I'll ask like if you want me to ask like I can ask but like just letting you know like the way my bank account set up like my checkings and my say Y'all know I don't like him, but I had to throw that joke in there. It's after church. I come up to Penn. Like, Penn, you can come to Cheesecake Factory with me and Corey if you want. Like, I'll pay for you. Because I noticed that Penn was kind of going through a time. Like, when we would go out to eat, like, he would only get some, like, fries or something. Or, like, a drink. Like, you're not hungry. He was like, no, nah, I'm good. You know, he's probably struggling at the time, like, money-wise. Like, we're college students. Everybody struggles money-wise. You see, I'm okay with having 64 cents in my account. Like, everybody struggles money wise in college i'm not coming at pen any type of way like i'm not looking at pen crazy like it happens i, I understand so i was like you can go to cheesecake factory if you want like you're definitely invited you can come we're about to go like you can come with us pen was like son no nah, i'm good i was like are you sure 
Like, are you sure you don't want to come? Because I'm like, God wanted me to ask. Like, I'm in my head, like, God wanted me to ask. So are you sure you don't want to come? He was like, no, I'm good. So I'm like, oh, God wanted to test me. He just wanted to see if I was going to ask, like, to see if I was going to be a good Christian girl. He knew he was going to say no. Now I don't have to pay. Like, I'm good. Like, I did my duty as a Christian. Yay, go me. Now I'm about to go to Cheesecake Factory, get some cheesecake with $30 left. We're heading out of church now. Like, we're getting in the car. And then Corey heard me tell Penn, like, you can come with us. And he heard Penn say no. So we get in the car. Corey's like, Penn, you sure you don't want to come with us? You sure you don't want to come? You can come, Penn. And I, the whole time I'm looking at Corey like, Corey didn't see me looking, but I'm just like, he said no. I passed my test already. Why are you, why are you doing this? Like, why are you asking? But I'm like, you know what? This might be Corey's test. God might be testing him to see if he's going to make sure that we give to one of our friends. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm not going to say nothing. If that's what's supposed to happen and it's going to happen, I'm going to let it happen. Eventually, our friend Pim was like, yeah, I'll go. Like, if you insist, I'll come with you. Like, of course, Pim wanted to come because who doesn't love cheesecake? We get to Cheesecake Factory, put our names on the list. We're like, it's going to be an hour wait. So we looked at each other like, so y'all want to wait or what we doing? Like, you know what? Let me stop complaining. Like, I'm going to have to give. God wants me to give. I'm going to give. I'm gonna do it because let me just stop being like that. Like, yeah, let's wait the hour. We can just walk around the, the mall really quick. So we're walking around, we find ourselves in the food court because if you know that post-church hunger hits like no other. You're so hungry after church and it makes no sense. We start getting samples from all the places. Then we get to Walk Dragon. If you've been to Linux, and if you've never been to Walk Dragon, you need to go. And if you've been, then you know Walk Dragon is so good. The best small Chinese food ever in life. She gets a sample. I'm like, bro, this is so good. Like, I want to eat this so bad. I don't want to be like the party pooper like, oh, I'm paying. So I want to pay cheaper amounts. So everybody, let's eat here. Pen was like, yeah, bro, this is really good. Like, this is so good, bro. And Cora was like, shoot, I mean, we could really eat here. And then Pen was like, bro, we really can I was like, say less. We get our food. Food was only all together. All three of us was only about $30. God tested me the first time when he told me to ask. But since I wasn't cheerful with my giving, he gave me another chance. He was like, oh, you're happy that you didn't have to give to somebody else? Because like when Penn said no, I was like, bad. Like, I'm about to have $30 left. But she's ever had to. I'm good. That's why he was like, oh, no, now Penn is going. So now what you going to do? Let me change my attitude about it. Instead of, yeah, I'm happy I pinned in ghosts and I got money now. It's like, I'm happy that I'm able to give a meal to one of my friends. I was about to pay $30 for each person's meal. I ended up paying $30 for all of the meals together. I just had to be happy about giving to somebody else. Like, you know what? I want to give to you. I'm perfectly fine with giving to you. So now I still gave to him. But now it's just like, God was like, you don't even have to spend that much to give. A simple invitation and then initially thinking you were about to give so much more and then only have to giving a little bit of what you already have was a test and you passed. Good job, sir. God knew from the beginning that we, we weren't going to Cheesecake Factory. He told me to ask just to see where my head was, where to see where my heart was. If I was willing to give my last, even if it didn't benefit me in the end. That same day, me and Corey start chilling up to church. I start texting Penn. I'm like making sure Penn is good. Like they were, they were straight or whatever. I call Penn, no, no text back, no response on the phone. When I see Penn, we fight in simple. Why are you ignoring me, Penn? So I'm about to walk out of where I live and Penn was walking in. I was like, oh, I got some words to say to you, Penn. I wasn't really mad, y'all. I need you to understand this is my personality. I'm just being funny. But like, I was like, Penn, like, why are you not texting me back? Why are you not answering the phone? Penn was like, so my phone is off. I'm like, you don't got a charger? Like, quit being dumb. Like, plug your phone up. No, like, I mean, my phone is off. I didn't pay the bill. And I was like, oh, okay. I get you saying that's my bad. That's my fault. I forgot that Penn was going through a time, which is cool. Go through your time. You know what I'm saying? Figure all that out. Like, you got it. Get it together. You got it. I started talking to God. God talking to me heavy, of course. He's like, I want you to pay Penn's phone bill. So, I didn't think twice of it. If you were listening, you would notice that the reason God didn't want me to go to Cheesecake Factory wasn't the fact that he didn't want me to pay more. It was the fact that he didn't want me to just bless Penn one time, but he wanted me to bless Penn twice. Now Penn is full and Penn gets to have his phone on. I had texted 
another one of our friends this friend would be named vaseline so i texted vaseline and was like sorry my lips are dry so i was like vaseline do you know Penn's Cash App? Vaseline was like, yeah, here's Penn's Cash App. I was like, all right, bet. Don't tell Penn I, t I asked for it. I had texted Penn that night and was like, what's your phone provider? I think I need to like switch mine over. Like, I don't like mine. Mine's taxing. I'm not trying to pay this much. Penn was like some, oh, I got Metro PCS. I was like, for real? Like, how much they charge? It was like, like 50. I was like, for real? Like, that's super lit. I'm gonna have to get on there. Da, 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 da. I waited till like 2, 3 o'clock in the mornings where I knew Penn was asleep. And I sent Penn $50. Cause I'm like, I have it. Like, God wanted me to not spend his money so I could give it to you. Like, I was I was merely a vessel in what needed to be done. Pen wakes up the next morning. Oh my God! Thank you so much. I appreciate it. just just real cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I felt good. Like I'm glad that I could help a friend. That same day, my mom texts me and was like, "Sabi, you got a check at the house." I was like, "A check at the house? I don't work at anybody's job. So what check do I have at the house?" She was like, so I guess it's a refund check or something. I was like, oh, bet. Like, how much is it for? Let me know how, how excited I need to be. She was like, a check for $1,000? I was like, shut your mouth, Francois. $1,000? I'm a college student. That's a million dollars. I'm a millionaire. I literally just took a step back. Like, that same day, you you bless me like this? I give and you give back to me like this? That weekend, that Sunday, I had gave $100 to the church instead of my normal 10 because I felt like God is blessing me so much. So I need to make sure not only am I giving to his people more, but I'm also giving to him more. While I close, I want to make sure that all of my points were met. So that way, if you don't remember anything else from the video, you remember these things. I want everybody to really notice about how the storyline grew with this. I want you to notice how God brought me through levels. Like each level was a little bit more and asked for a little bit more, but gave a little bit more and asked for a little bit more, gave a little bit more, asked for every single time God was trying to work something in me, he asked something from me. Each time was a little bit more responsibility, a little bit more listening, a little bit more, I wanna see where your heart is, a little bit more, are you willing to give your last? Because there were times when I felt like I had nothing, like literally nothing, I have 25 cents in my account. But if God were to ask for that 25 cents, I better make sure I give him that 25 cents. Because the thing is, are you going to give him your last? God turned my my $10 giving to an $1,000 receiving. He literally blessed me a hundredfold. And I need us also to remember that giving is not just about money or food. Like giving can be so much more than that. You see how James simple smile caused all of this to begin? Months of blessing started with a simple smile your gift to someone could be some advice it could be a hug it could be a simple compliment to make somebody's day but i noticed that us as a society are so uncomfortable with giving love to one another because we are so afraid to look like a fan god gave his son for us he loved us that much that he gave us his son, his only son. That's what he gave us because he loved us. So you can give that homeless man the other half of your Subway sandwich. You can tell that boy you like his shoes and you can give that girl a compliment on her hair because you know you like the way she swooshed it to the left like that. Why are you, why are you acting like you mean? You can't say some stuff. You can't give somebody something that you have enough of. You, you can't be nice. Something as simple as just being nice, giving them that compliment. That just makes them feel so good about themselves. Giving somebody advice like, thank you for helping me. It's so much more than money. Like, you can give so much more than that. Society is stuck in these comfort zones, but our society is not even comfortable in these comfort zones. We're stuck in uncomfortable comfort zones. We're comfortable with making the same decent amount of money we've been making. We're comfortable with spending all of our money on things that don't matter. We're comfortable with not being nice. We're comfortable with not saying anything when something needs to be said. We're comfortable with not giving to people when we have so much that we have to give, we're comfortable being selfish. When you do comfortable things that do not allow you to get better with or for God, you cause yourself to be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable with things like feeling like you don't have enough or uncomfortable with things or feeling like you aren't enough. And when I say you don't have enough, like, oh, I don't have enough money. I don't have enough cars. I don't have jewelry. You're not willing to even give some money to somebody. Why would he give you this much? 
you're not even willing to give this girl this compliment why would he make your platform so big to where you're you're influencing people for you to influence this this mean into the world you can't even be nice in real life why would i i want you to fake nice in front of a camera nah probably not you have to be obedient to the things god is asking of you so god wants you to be nice to that girl be nice to that girl god wants you to give that last five to the homeless person give the last five to the homeless person do you see how me being obedient to my role of being the giver of little things set me up to be the receiver of big things my god is good yo he only asked for a little and he ended up giving me so much because i was consistent in my obedience thing is y'all yeah god asked for 10 and gave me a thousand god is not broke y'all he didn't need my last 10 because it was just like oh we running low in heaven and uh, i'm running i'm running now i'm gonna need that last 10 can you think you could send me the last 10 god is not broke he does not need our money our money is where our heart is so he just wants to see how your heart is gonna move where you're gonna put your heart into when you put your money toward things that are for and with god he will bless you a hundredfold because what god has is worth so much more than any amount of money so he has no problem with with giving me a thousand and all he asked for was 10 because all he asked for was 10. he just wanted to see if you were going to listen and give him the 10. he just wanted to see if you're going to be obedient to him when he's asking you to be nice simple things turn into great things so babies that concludes today's video just wanted to tell y'all how god blessed me and how he continues to bless me every single day i want everybody to just make sure that they're going about their day giving to others like it's not about us y'all it's bigger than me it's bigger than you it's it's so much more remember giving is not always money giving is not always food giving can be a compliment a hug a advice a greeting Giving can be anything. So make sure every single day you wake up, you're like, you know what, today I'm gonna give. I don't know what that's gonna be. I don't know what level God wants it to be on today, but I'm giving something to somebody else in order for them to get better. Nothing to benefit me. If that happens, it happens. If it comes, it comes. I'm here to help you. I'm here to serve you as a Christian woman. I think that uh, wraps it up. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. It'll be in the description box below like comment subscribe all that good stuff please tell me what y'all think like let me know if it helped if it didn't help i'm trying to get better but i thank y'all so much for listening thank y'all so much for giving me your time today i love y'all so much i will see y'all in the next video Ooh, i'm looking for a baby i can slide on girl you know it's you i got my eyes on we be going good to the morning light because at night don't even want the lights on girl you look like something